Give some madni pearls for tarawih. Also, it has been observed in local masjid that if tarawih is offered down stairs, children are found frolicking upstairs. Everybody is accompanied by his children, either in last rows or upstairs. They make a lot of noise. Some children come to the masjid in order to play and frolic. Their aim is to have fun and frolic, which they can enjoy. What should be the age of child who would accompany us? How can we involve him in offering tarawih? We can say that women send their children to the masjid on purpose. Talking about the women who are housewives. After taking meal, they want to take rest or they want to worship or suggest they want to make recitation. They say to their husband, "Take the kids away to the masjid for offering salah with you." He goes to the line for offering salah, but the kids go back. They make fun and frolic in the line of kids behind, and they begin making noise, saving masjid from madman children and loud voices. Is mentioned in a hadith. We are ordered to save it from shouting also. Therefore, it is not allowed to bring children in masjid, especially such a child about whom a person is of a strong opinion that he will urinate. It will be haram to bring him. If he won't urinate, but he is too young to come along, then it is makruh and zihi to bring. Allowed, but if the child is mischievous, playful, and noisy by nature, you know how noisy it is. If a child meets another, he remains silent. If he is alone, they make noise. If they are two in number, they do what they want. They keep on playing and running. Therefore, in masjid, it is not allowed to bring children because it is known that whenever they gather, they keep on running and playing incessantly. They should be stopped. This issue should be solved by administration of masjid. They should stop them. They should advise those who bring children, and I think they should display a notice that parents are requested not to bring children. They should respect masjid. Such notices should be displayed. The imam and the preacher should advise them on mic. They should advise before tarawih and before Friday salah. It will be better to advise before tarawih for which they bring. They bring for other salah also. A child is somebody who nullifies rules and regulations. Children usually make noise wherever they go and they play frolic and disturb worshippers. And you will ask them to worship. What they do at the time of salah? They will say Amin loudly. If Imam says Allahu Akbar, they will also say together Allahu Akbar. If a mischievous child turns up, he will push like that and will make the entire row fall down. Later, children will laugh at it. This is something the mother of children doesn't know about. She keeps on thinking that her husband is a religious and virtuous person. He will tie children tightly to his hands like this and will ask them to offer salah, but he fails. They keep on playing and frolicking by considering. The masjid as playground. I think their mindset is to let them learn and to become habitual of offering salah. If they leave them at home, they won't offer salah. Amir Al Sunnah is asking to stop them. When they offer salah in masjid, please listen to me. You're saying they that they make noise. You're asking people to stop them. You want the committee and imam to do it. People are never willing to listen to you. Rather, they say, "Who are you? It's Allah's house. It's my child. Up to them." Just go. If they tell a hadith, yes. according to a hadith, a mad person and children should not enter masjid. If imam is an Islamic scholar, or if he reads books written for Islamic scholars, so if he reads out a book from a hadith, then which Muslim will argue with the imam? People should forbid children affectionately and politely from making noise. Shut up. Stay quiet. No noise. Shouting and scolding like this will add to their mischief. It is heard after every two rakat, just after finishing. It is wrong. They scold once or twice and start it offering salah again while they play. Children behind. might become afraid for a short time, just as the person who scolds starts offering salah again. They will enjoy freedom until he finishes salah. Well, they sit before he finishes salah. Just as that person finishes salah, the noisy children would become silent. That person may scold again. They become silent before salah is finished. They know that it is the time for somebody else to speak. Allah. So people should advise children affectionately and politely. Scolding creates hatred. It will hurt them because sins are not recorded in their deeds. They don't commit sins. The person who hurts children is likely to commit a sin which is conceivable this is a matter in which i think those people are usually involved whose practice is to come to masjid only in the holy and blessed month of ramadan
You are right. They are specifically seen during Tarawi. If they carry on coming to masjid throughout the year, if they sit with Islamic scholars, they will be conversant with Sharia rulings for the purpose of making a child habitual of offering salah and to teach him manners. Can he not offer salah at home? Can he not recite Quran at home? Does his mother not offer salah at home? The mother doesn't worship at home. She keeps busy listening to music and watching drama at home. She tells her husband to take the child to the masjid along with him so that she may take rest and the child will play with his friends. These are the points people ought to think about. Supposing you're offering salah in masjid but the child behind you goes out of masjid to the road which is dangerous for the child and you will not even know that he has gone to the road. He might meet an accident or something unpleasant that hurts him and worries you. This is something with regard to the safety of the children which we ought to be serious about. We're talking about such young children who should not be taken to a masjid. The audience and the viewers of Madani channel just make your mind that you will not take such young kid to the masjid. So I can hope that now it will make some difference and people will make their best.